Hello everybody and welcome to this iOS development tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking a look at one of the uh, gesture recognizers that are available to us within iOS uh, and that is namely the UI swipe gesture recognizer. Uh, this particular class allows us to detect whether or not a user has swiped in a specific direction on the screen. Uh, there's of course quite a few gesture recognizers. I've got them up on screen um, the one, like I said, we're going to specifically look at is swiping in this particular tutorial. Now, um, as we're looking at this, let me also pull up the simulator and show you an example of what we are going to build. So here's an app that I built earlier and uh, that we're going to try and emulate. It's a pretty simple app. It's a single view application. It has a UI image view, as you can see. And uh, what you are able to do within this app is if I swipe to the right, it changes the image in that image view and if I swipe to the left it changes it back to the original image so pretty simple app swipe to the right to change it to a different image swipe to the left for it to go back to the original image so let's see how you can handle something like this within Xcode so our first stop of course is to fire up Xcode and uh, select the appropriate project type um, we are going to be using single view application and just for those uh, people that are interested I'm currently running Xcode version 4.2 so with that selected, I'm going to hit next and I'm going to save this as swipe gesture recognizer YT and I'm going to set the device to iPhone and use Arc. Just hit next and I will just save this on my desktop or something along those lines. Great. Okay, with that done, Let's uh, give Xcode the opportunity to index a couple things um, like it needs to. And we'll, in the meantime, also take a look at just this um, project structure. So since we're using a single view based application, it's pretty simple, just a couple different files. Our first stop is going to be the nib file, uh, which is viewcontroller.xib. And what we want here is an image view. So let's just go ahead and grab that. We'll grab the UI image view and stick it in here. And we also want to create a property to this um, particular image view. So the easiest way to do that, of course, is to come up here to the assistant editor and do a control click and drag a connector over here. And you'll see that it allows us to create an outlet. And that's what we want. I may have said property earlier. What I meant to say is outlet. Um, I'm just going to call this outlet my image view. And we want this, of course, so we can affect the image property of this particular image view um, and change it um, as we detect those swipes. Okay, with that done, uh, I'm going to do a quick cleanup item. Now, when we create a outlet using the assistant editor, uh, you'll notice that it adds this at property statement. It does not, of course, add the at synthesize statement, and this is I wouldn't say new anymore, but it's not actually required. In the past, we were required to do an add property and an add synthesize. And um, with the latest version of iOS, uh, that is no longer required. Now, the problem with this, of course, is that if I want to re refer to that image view, I'm forced to refer to it with an underscore. So I have to say underscore my image view. And you see um, Xcode recognizes it. And I don't really care for that approach. So I will go ahead and do the add synthesize statement just so I can refer to it without the underscore my image view okay with that done our next step is to in fact create a couple UI image objects so I will jump back into the uh, header file one more time let's make some room for ourselves and I'm going to say at property strong non-atomic and this is just going to be UI image and we'll call it something as simple as image one. Do a command is to save that. I'm going to copy this one time and this time I'll say UI image image two. So that gives us two properties. I'm going to jump in here and do a synthesize on it as well. And we just have to say image one and image two. Great. Okay, with that done, we are ready to work within our view to load method. So we remove that. First step, of course, is to instantiate our UI swipe gesture recognizer. So we'll just say instantiate our gesture recognizer. And the way we would do that is we say UI swipe gesture recognizer. 
we're going to call this one right swipe it's a UI swipe gesture recognizer alloc and we're going to do an init on it but we'll use the init with target we set the target to self which is the class that it's in and we're going to set the selector to be at selector and here's where we get to define which method we would like to have fired or called when a swipe is detected so let's just call this method did swipe seems simple enough command us to save that and now that we've instantiated our gesture recognizer we actually have to do one more step uh, which is we need to add this gesture recognition to whatever object we want to use it on in our case that's going to be the image view so what I will do is I'll say my image view and I'd say add gesture recognizer you see that it takes a parameter of UI gesture recognizer we've got one of those which is the swipe gesture recognizer and we can just say right swipe and there we go we have added it to our image view now the only thing we've added at this point though is a, a detection for a swipe to the right and if you remember our original application we also want to detect swipes that are going to the left um, and this is where it gets interesting iOS by default only detects swipes that go to the right which means if we want to also detect a left swipe we need to add another gesture recognizer uh, called left swipe and add it to our image view object so the way we would do that is I'm just going to quickly copy this and we will rename this to left swipe the other thing we will need to do is set its direction so we'll say left swipe dot direction and we can set this to UI swipe gesture recogni recognizer direction left you can see there's quite a few options there and this is what sets or determines whether this is a left swipe or a right swipe now if you're wondering why didn't we have to do this here with the right swipe it's because like I said by default iOS only detects right swipes which means if you don't specify the direction it is implied with that done we do want to add this again just like we did earlier to our image view object so let's do my image view add gesture recognizer and this time we'll pass it left swipe okay so we've now added the gesture recognizers no issue there now what we want to do is set up our images so you remember we have two UI images and I'm gonna set that to actually I suppose before we set anything up we are we have to import the images now I have two images or four images rather on the side that I'm just gonna import in um, these are images I got from uh, Wikipedia and resized so I'm gonna drop them into our supporting files folder and of course make sure that the destination or the item called the copy items into destination groups folders checked hit finish and I will do the same with the second set and exact same process hit finish okay now that that's there we can now set up our images I'm just gonna say image one is set to UI image and image name and just takes an NS string which is the name of our file in this case I want the first image to be the Mona Lisa image so I'm just gonna say Mona Lisa JPEG image 2 is going to be UI image image named girl earring dot JPEG alright with both of those done one final item is we want to set the image views image property to one of these so we will just set this to image 1 and that'll ensure that when the app loads up it is set to the Mona Lisa image all right, we are getting close to being done. Uh, one more item to do is to implement this particular method. Because remember, we said that when the gesture rec is recognized, whether it's a le left swipe or a right swipe, we want it to fire this particular method. This is a method that we, uh, is a name we came up with, and so we have to essentially implement that method. So we'll say this method is of type void, and it's called did swipe, and it takes one parameter, which is a UI swipe gesture recognizer, and we'll just call that parameter sender to make things simple and then we'll implement some code within this particular method itself now 
In here, we will first specify that we want to use an enum value. Um, and what that enum value is, is UI swipe gesture recognizer direction. And you'll see why we want to use this in just one second. And we'll set the sender dot direction. So what we're doing here is when this particular method is called by the swipe gesture recognizer in question, it gets a direction value. This direction value is not stored in the, uh, the simplest to understand format. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, let me hover over this UI swipe gesture recognizer direction. This is an enum. And you'll see here, take a look at how these values are stored. So these are a, um, you know, they use the bitwise operator, which is this. And instead of us having to deal with that, it's much easier to use this sort of a format and get the enum to do all the work. Um, and where that sort of impacts us is when we use a switch statement. And what we're going to use is we're going to do a switch on the direction. And normally, this case value would have to be something, um, you know, this has to be an integer value. And instead of dealing with just weird integer numbers that mean nothing, using the enum allows us to do something like UI swipe gesture recognizer direction right or left. And we'll use right as the first one. It's much easier to understand when you're looking at this code after the fact. And what we want to do, or actually the only thing we really need to do here, is we say my image view dot image gets set to image two. Great. So in this case, all we're doing is we're saying if the recognizer's direction is to the right, switch it to the girl with the earring. Uh, if it's to the left, we can basically switch it back to the Mona Lisa. And to make things really obvious, I'm going to do it here. I will set this to left, and we will set this to image one. So there you go. Now I could have, of course, added this code to the default, uh, but I'm not going to do that, uh, just so it's a little bit clearer. All right, we're done entering all of our code. Now let's go ahead and run this. And I can tell you up ahead of time that when we run this application, even though we've got all of the code or most of the code in place, uh, it is not going to work. And the reason it won't work is because we're using an image view, and the swipes are not going to get recognized. So we'll see what I mean in a second. When this application loads up, you'll see the Mona Lisa picture comes up just fine. But when I swipe to the right, nothing happens. And when I swipe to the left again, nothing happens, of course. Let's stop the app and see exactly why. Well, to see why, we need to jump into the view controller's NIP file and then jump over to the uh, identity inspector. Select this. Now, within the Identity Inspector, you're going to see, or actually, the Attributes Inspector is the one we want. Let's make sure I've got the right thing selected. Yep, here it is. We did want the uh, Identity Inspector. So with this selected, if you look over to the right side, you'll see that under the view, there is a section called Interaction. And to be able to detect swipes on the UI image view, you actually need these two properties to be checked. Now, we could have set these in code, but I wanted to show you how this works within the simulator. And here we go. So once these are checked, do a command S to save, command R to run. And this time, we're going to find that the gesture recognition works exactly as desired. I swipe to the right, changes to the girl with the earring, swipe to the left, and it comes right back. Again, swipe to the right to switch to the second image, swipe to the left to come back. So hopefully you can see it's pretty easy to implement gesture recognition within iOS, especially swipe gesture recognition. And I've seen a lot of apps use this as part of their UI to allow the user to navigate uh, the content in the app in different ways. Um, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in another tutorial.